the man among those charged with extending the heritage of this fighting city of Liverpool. And straight out from the first bell, centre of the ring, looks to push his man back, Peter McGraw. Very confident to start, but very confident fighter. Good lead hook. As Mendoza falls in. He's an exceptional fight, really is. You know, you talk about that expectation, Mike. And that's because he's just an exceptional talent. He really is. There's not a great deal he does wrong. His footwork is exceptional. You know, I've heard the, the nickname Peterchenko. It's shades of Lomachenko, the way he slides in and out side to side. But I must say, Frank Mendoza, we've seen him in Spain. He's a decent fighter, naturally aggressive. Likes to come forward. He's been pinned back at the minute, though, and pushed back by McGraw. But he is a decent fighter. He's naturally aggressive. Like I said, he likes to let big shots go. So we'll be trying to get a foothold in this contest as soon as possible. And you can see sometimes when Mendoza overcommits, he really does drop low. That would be a, an area that McGraw can really exploit if he starts finding the shot as he goes down. Oh, that's better. Created the angle beautifully for that left hand, did McGrail. He's been nursing a shoulder injury, that left shoulder, but no ill effects according to the shot that just landed there from McGrail. It was, it was lovely. It was a nice little step to his right. And that and enabled him to find the range of the target with that left hand. So he just needs to bring that right foot across. I see he's looking for it again. Getting a bit more creative with his looks now, Peter. Trying to see if he can get some angles through the middle. But a good backhand line, a good response straight from McGraw to finish the exchange, though. Yeah, that's definitely the shot for Mendoza, that right hand. He's almost waiting for McGraw to, to let his hands go. He was happy to take two shots to land that right hand of his. It's weird because I feel like he's struggling to find the lead hand, Mendoza. When he throws it, he's not really committing to it. He's kind of just using it as a range finder. And that shot's quite easy to slip for Peter, and then it's making him maybe fall into a full sense of security a little bit. And he's getting caught sometimes with a backhand when he switches off. Mendoza unbeaten in 17, and you can look at unbeaten records and wonder where and how they've been compiled, but Mendoza knows his way around the ring here. Yeah, he can fight for sure, mate. Don't worry about that. He's walking onto a nice right hook, though, from McGraw. And it, but again, McGraw turns the corner. And because he's standing up and staying a bit too close to the target, he's getting caught at the end of range. And Mendoza's not a really tall fighter, so you'd want to see him open up the gap a little bit more. McGraw, lovely work at the edge of range from McGraw there. Maybe cuffed one for his troubles on the way out, but good start so far for the fourth round. But Mendoza's are so composed. He's sitting there. Nothing's really phasing him. He's staying there. He's got his weight down into the ground, his feet planted. And they're all but good shot from McGraw after a shot lands from Mendoza. Yep. Mendoza turns to the southpaw stance. Yeah, Is landed, that a sign of confidence? Yeah, and he landed a nice left hand, Mike. He's doing it again. Ooh, confusing McGraw here. And now really getting a taste for the action. Good shot from McGraw. Two in a row. Good response from the Liverpudlian. Great hook. Lead, uh, lifts the, the chin off of Mendoza there. And edges it back, edges it back voluntarily now this time. Heating up nice in his contest. People ground the front foot. Just trying to push Mendoza back. You see at the start of this round, Mendoza trying to hold the centre in, but it's from the ground now, trying to force the pace and the, the action. Mendoza firing back as well. Good fight. I think he could do a switch in the stance. Mendoza keeps getting caught with that lead hook as he's stepping in. All he's got to do is change the angle of his shoulder, Peter, and he's finding that left hook. But that was a better shot for Mendoza and a good jab. A bit more experience maybe for Mendoza. But a great shot for Peter McGraw. Obviously to sit in the pocket like this from both. Making for good action. He's trying to creep forward, Mendoza. That naturally is his style. He is an exciting fighter. A bit more thought here, I think, going into his work from Peter. A bit more precision, a bit more accuracy, picking his moments and his range a little better. And Osa holding firm in the centre of the ring. From a fighting family, his brother Nacho came here to the UK way back in 2010 and was beaten in a couple of rounds by Kevin Mitchell. Nacho went on boxing until the age of 40. 
front here at 26, more than holding his own against Peter McGrail. Yeah, stepped in nicely there, three shots. He's confident. Sort of been kept at bay in this round, though, by the movement and the speed of McGrail. That's good work, though, from Mendoza. I think Peter just showing his effort a little bit too much here as he's trying to come in, and it's giving Mendoza a little heads up just to start retreating. Obviously, Peter gets at the edge of range, then starts adjusting, makes it a hard target to hit, but a lot of an easier target than someone that's moving back and on the, you know, on the retreat. It's becoming a little predictable, Mendoza, looking for the backhand, whether it's for, from, sorry, the, the orthodox of South Boy, looking for the backhand. And I'll tell, you from, I'll tell you from experience, it's a very hard pace to keep up with McGraw. Because he's so twitchy, he's got you always mentally switched on, always thinking because he's just at the edge of range. And it might be that, let's get into Mendoza a little bit because he didn't match the, the rhythm and the intensity. Oh, good shot as he walks in. And that's what happens when you just fall in, you square up your feet a little bit. The shot's right there, but Peter McGraw didn't have to look at him to throw that shot. He knew he was going to be there. And again. Even the body language is a bit more, a bit more submissive from Mendoza there in the, as he's backed up, ready to just brace and try and defend the shot rather than really score or look positive back. On the flip side, like, how does Mendoza adapt? I think he's got to try and get the ribbon with his jab to the body. I think, again, you target the head with the jab to McGraw. But every chance you're going to fall short with a counter. If we work the body, the body stays where it is, then you can look at your shot. That's a lovely left hand from McGraw. And Peter kept with it there. As Mendoza was retreating, Peter just stayed calm and composed, edged forward, got his shot off at the right range. Good work there, great footwork. Fantastic exit there, step back, roll to his right. Maybe getting a little bit carried away though, as he was going for the third and fourth phase and got caught of a shot for his troubles. Peter there. A lot less energy coming from Mendoza in the ninth round, I think. He'll be feeling this, Sonny. Mendoza, oh. this isn't how he fights. He's usually on the front foot. He's being pushed back now. This is good stuff from the ground. And a nod of acknowledgement from Mendoza after that exchange on the ropes. He's getting pinned back by punches there, and a lot of them were landing. They were getting through the guard. They were going up and downstairs. Again, straight through the guard. Oh, mouth guard comes out of Peter there, though. Inside the final minute of the final round, McGrail on the front foot. Looking to ram home his authority. Brilliant left hand at the end of that combination. Oh. And then follows up with that right hand that he's been working so hard on in the gym. Oh, oh, and it's the shots you don't see coming for Peter as he's getting it. As Mendoza trying to defend himself, the shot's coming straight through the guard spitefully at speed. That was class, two left hands through the first roll through the second, beautiful stuff from Pete McGraw, great finish to the fight. He's and we're seeing the pop in the shots that he's developed as a pro. He's going through the gears with his footwork as well, now Peter, it's a beautiful thing to see, because he gets his balance straight away, he doesn't need to adjust his feet, he knows where his feet are every second when he puts them down. And this in the 10th and final round, augurs so well for when he moves up to the championship distance, for when he moves up in grey. Lovely clipping right hook once again, towards the end of the contest, as if to put the stamp on a terrific performance from Peter McGrail. George. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here at the MS Bank Arena, we go to the judges' scorecards. Michael Alexander and Giuseppe Cuaroni, 99-91. Olina Pombivailo, 97-93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. He's still undefeated. And the new WBA Continental Super Bantamweight Champion.